the spot, but I don't even know who could. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So today's video is pretty much a chill one. Uh, I went ahead and got a new camera and I pretty much wanted to test it out. So went out with some friends, got some um, something to eat, just chill, hung out or whatever. Pretty much uh, one of those off days that I do. Something that um, I rarely ever put on this channel or whatever. So yeah, hope you enjoy and please like, comment, subscribe and yeah. <music> Apparently the place I need to go to is on the other side of the street and I don't think I'm going to be able to get over there to make a Yui and as you can see traffic is bad in every direction so I'm supposed to be going over there how am I going to do this right now They think they're cool. You know why don't you in Orlando? Alright, no gang signs, no gang signs. Anyway. South Park, this is nice. I like this, y'all. Can y'all shoot me? Y'all like me like this? Can we, can we have a conversation about this? I think we can. Wait till next time. I'm looking at the wrong, I'm looking at this land. I should be looking at this land. My bad, y'all. I'm not connecting with it. But we're gonna be connecting with that. Emblem. <laughs> he in a BMW without an emblem, bro. Yo, we're gonna have to put the... M logo right here. No! Okay, <laughs> it's an M Sport. It's an M Sport. Exactly, bro. No. We gotta let it be low. No, that's the new style that BMW does. Oh my gosh. Just pre put an M badge on every day. Officially. Bro, I hate that shit. Be like, everybody just slaps an M badge on it. Like, yeah, it's now BMW now. just did it. Everyone started to do it. And then BMW said, you know what? Since everybody's doing it, we're we gonna, gonna do slap it, it on everything. We're gonna slap it on everything. M340. Too. You want this? You want this M. X340 M Sport. It's not like you get extra performance, you just get the nah. package. Yeah. What the f? That shit changes? It rotates. What yeah. I said it was really loud. Yeah, I heard Yeah, when it I came through, it was like, new, I thought it was digital. This is yeah. new. That's new. That's, That's the rotating. Nice. The next car meet they're doing is up there. Oh. They're doing it in there. You haven't done one? Really? They're doing it in there. I know. I'm telling you, you haven't been to one? No, I haven't. I've only been to one. That's when, I had, that's when I had the Eclipse. I had eclipse. Yeah, you lived here. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> I had a whole eclipse, bro. What 4G, kind of eclipse? 4G 63 in that. Oh bitch. my god! <laughs> what happened to the eclipse? Sold it. There's a guy in North Carolina. What happened to the the hatchback? You still got Civic? It? I'm yeah. selling that shit. Okay. Which one's right next? Huh? D3. Let's track no. it. Even the super. That's it. Inside the junkyard. Now the track because. The European cars is way at the end of the junkyard. So you gotta walk out in this heat. I got a super in here. This thing is trashed and it's automatic, but still. Body still look a little clean. I don't know. I have a love for um Lexus and Toyota motors for some odd reason. I don't know. Some of, I had more Lexuses than um, BMWs actually. So, if that's anything, fun facts. So, more Hond I had led more Lexuses than I had Hondas and Acuras. And then BMWs. We got this uh, bumpers off. So, we 
look out of here. Wow. Well photo housing was clean. And they didn't really take anything off this car yet. Oh, they took the ECE though. So that's uh, one of the things you look for when you come into these cars. Just grab the ECU and oh, they got the FRM modules and stuff like that. And it looked like somebody's going around just grabbing all the DMEs. Like every single one so far I'm popping up. Well, these two, these are the first ones I'm seeing. The DMEs are gone. This one's got wrecked in the front and this one was leaking oil from the oil filter housing. Let's see what the interior is looking like. And it's a sport in black and a sport steering wheel. So we just might be in luck here. What else we got here? What is this? This looks like a N54. Yes, it is. This is rare. <laughs> rare I've ever seen this. It's in here. Nothing too good. Watch out. Nope. Let me turn around. Oh, shoot. F Series 535i. Man, he's got some gems in it. Got a bunch of gems. Oh my gosh. This thing is gutted. Yeah, when this thing came, we got good and quick. Yep, same in here. So we got the module. Brown interior. Let's see. Yep. DME's gone. Let's see. Oh, this is a 5 Series. This has been here a while, and this is definitely a mosquito <laughs> breeding ground right there. Hopefully, they pull it off soon. There's another 330. black interior they took all the fuel pump and the regulator black interior uh let me see brown interior but this thing is cracked up real cracked up and you got a sports steering wheel too so. Let me guess, DME's gone. Ugh. Oh man, got a steering wheel. That thing is jank as heck. All right, so I'm gonna go back through and uh, pick through the stuff that I was planning on going to get. So some of them I'll be able to get, but I really wanted them seats, but uh, I had the tools. So I'm gonna have to get a friend of mine to come back for me later. Come get it from me because I know you'll be back here. So tell them what's here when you, you come through. So yeah, I'm gonna go go through, grab what I get, and look around and make sure I ain't miss nothing as I walk through the preliminary, pre, pre before. You know what I mean. <laughs> Only got an N54 starter. The rest of the stuff I couldn't really um take off the tools I got. I really wanted to pick up one of those seats, but nah, they kind of dinge. But it's some decent stuff. But I guess we good for now. So I'm just gonna go try get some food. I have the navigation set for Golden Crust. And pretty much it's like a Jamaican spot uh, franchise. So every time I go to a Jamaican spot, like the food is generally good if the customer service is like trash, like horrible. But if the customer service is pretty decent and good, the food might be aye. Right, you know what I mean? But yeah, this food, I'm looking forward to it. So I just went in and got me some basic uh, cocoa bread and uh, beef patty. So spicy beef patty at that. So. This right here filled me up real good, and I just got a, what was it, cola champagne, the glass one, the D&G, so, yeah, so I'm not going to eat this in here, I'm going to go somewhere else and go eat it real quick, because I don't want to get no crumbs in the car. Traffic's too crazy, I just realized I'm about to clean this car out later on, so I'm just going to eat in here, because to get to where I need to go, traffic, traffic, 
all the way back there is just traffic. I need to go that way, but I'm like, screw it, and go that way because it'll get me home faster. Yeah. I should have went to Culver's. <laughs> but at least this should be good. You can't mess up a cold champagne, so. Uh, it don't taste bad. It's just, there's barely any meat. It's just like doughy. It's supposed to be like this the whole way through from the top. Ah, uh, I'm mad. Dude got Chick fil A. And I can't. Ah, oh, man. I lucked out. At least this is good, so. This, not so much. Alright, so back at the house, and I'm here about to wash these cars right now. So, I might just wash this one first and see how I feel. And I might wash the 335 tomorrow. So, got like $100 worth of cleaning supplies from Walmart. I thought it was gonna be cheaper, but damn. I should have might as well have just went from advance or something, shoot. But yeah, got those, so we're just gonna go ahead and wash the cars today. And as usual, I am tired. Nope. Get my key before it gets stuck in there and I gotta go charge it up. So the battery's dead and it wouldn't start. It gave me like starter codes and some DME codes, all kind of stuff. So the 128 got towed off but when i look inside here there was no water damage nothing like that so i'm not sure if like water came inside of the dme area because of the what's it called using the bms cowl filters it doesn't have the full black piece running across the top so i looked over there i didn't really see much water or anything so i don't know what the heck is going on with it hooked the battery up to a charger and um cleared the codes it said something about a starter code too so the starter code didn't come back but i got it to start and then after a day, it like the battery was drained again. And then I had to put it on the charger. So some things drained the battery and now it won't start. So the, after a while, I started hearing the motor. The motor started to knock, like a faint, like little like knock on low RPM. Like when you start and let it sit, you don't hear it. But if you step on the gas and um, I think it's like 1,000, 2,000 RPM somewhere right here. Da, 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 nah, 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 nah. You hear the little knock. It's not super loud. So I know I got a rod bearing I got to go change. So I believe, I don't know what's up with it. Because I barely had the car. The car has just been sitting, really. Because I've been in and out, in and out of town. So I haven't had much time to do much of anything. So I got to figure out what's the deal with that. But anyway, the motor is, yeah, I got to go take it out. So I got one more motor I got to take out. So this time, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw the built motor in now and be done with that. So at least now I know the block will be solid. And yeah, doing everything, no corners, touching everything. So the one thing I can say is though, she sit clean. Man, oh, I just want to drive her right now, but... My drive is just going to get worse and worse. I checked the oil, oil filter housing, and when I looked inside there, there was no metal or nothing like that. Compared to this one, open up this housing, it's mad metal. You can like see that thing. So it didn't progress too bad, so there's no like metals really floating around. I still got to dump the oil, so verify, but there's nothing inside the oil filter housing. So yeah, it should be good to go. So I'm going to start on this one. I need to get everything sorted out. Like over the weekend, I went ahead and got the axles out. So one thing I got to do is get these uh, bolts out for the transmission. I don't want to take the transmission out or anything. I just want to take just the whole motor. And um, i got to mock up how to reroute the AC line and all that stuff. That's the main reason why I'm taking the full motor out and getting everything refreshed while it's out. But it's a clean motor. It's just now, it's a clean exterior motor, no leaks or nothing, but it has uh, flakes, metal flakes running all around. still they look good so now i'm have to clean myself up a bit to drive it in so tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and try and work on finishing this bad boy up uh hopefully to have this out before the end of the week so 
actually maybe even ready to come out tomorrow or the next day so we shall see so stay tuned and um i'll see y'all next one